Hello, I'm Erica Bierstrom, UW-Madison Division of Extension Agriculture Agent. Today I'd like to welcome Cheryl Skolas, UW-Madison Division of Extension Agriculture and Safety Health Specialist, to discuss farm emergency preparedness. Thanks, Erica. I'm glad to be here today. All right. Well, today we'd like to address emergency preparedness on the farm. What are your main points you'd like farmers to remember when developing an emergency preparedness plan? You know, we don't always want to be thinking about an emergency happening. We would much rather focus our safety and efforts towards preventing them. But reality is somewhere down the line, something's going to happen. Some key points are one, create a communication center. It's easy to think I have a cell phone in this day and age, and in my cell phone is all that information that I'm going to need. But when you think about working multiple people, different locations, having communication centers that somebody can go to as a place for that needed information helps give and pull together that information. It also means that you know might be able you should be able to put that information into farm vehicles because you know today's farms we're out in the fields we're traveling distance so it might not just be in a farm building that you want to keep that information communication center is also a good point for people to check in and check out we want to know that everybody goes home at the end of the day and we have a lot of lone worker situations and so having that communications point is also a good check-in, check-out um, for those people. We should be having emergency numbers still available because even though we can have them on our cell phone, if something happens to that phone, um, we have a, a different source of them. You also want to be sure at this, you know, as we have different people help on our farms, that we get emergency contact numbers for those people. So even if it's a family member, the neighbor stops by knowing who you'd contact in case of an emergency. Also plan out your routes between your farms and your fields because those routes, you know, if you have an incident happen on a roadway, a crash, how are you gonna know, you know, to give the 911 operator where you're located or where's that field in the back 40 that you now need to get them to a different driveway and it might not be that fire number that you're used to having at home. Then the last thing I would say is take time to map out your farmstead buildings and looking for those key utility points. You know, where is your power connections located? Where's your main source of power? Do you have any generators? Do you have natural gas or propane lines um, to be concerned about? Having those on a map also gives you a tool to talk to your fire department about and being prepared for other types of incidents. If an accident happens, what sh steps should be taken? You know, if an accident happens, some type of an emergency situation, you know, try to remain calm. Think about that plan and, and what you've put together and, and hopefully practice. You know, if it's an incident, um, some type of an injury that involves an animal on our farm, we might also need to properly handle and care for that animal. So having the resources there to do that part of it. If it's an injury that's gonna involve machinery, you know, whether it's that farmstead machine or a field machine, these are usually severe injuries. Um, it may be hard to wait for that EMS to come. You wanna do something, but in reality, if we have to lift that tractor off, if we need to get the person out of that piece of machinery, we're better off waiting till we have that emergency medical personnel there so that the injuries can be properly treated and we don't prevent further injury to the person um, that's caught in that piece of machinery. So things you can do, you know, while you wait for emergency personnel to, to come, you know, help relay that information, you know, who, who's involved, what are their ages, what are the types of injuries, are they talking to you, is there any other immediate danger, you know, like they're pinned under that tractor, they're caught in the machinery, um, is there a chance of fire or explosion. Another thing you can do is if you have that extra person, send them out to the roadway to help flag down those emergency vehicles, especially when you're in a more isolated location. <laughs> 